This was shot by Black Belt Magazine in Burbank, California. 19-year-old Joe Lewis was fresh out of the Marines. He was so dedicated to Okinawan karate that if he missed class, he would sneak out at night to practice. Karate theory, which is what point fighting is based upon, is that each strike should either kill or disable an attacker. When Lewis punches, he pulls his hand back to his hip like he was taught. Maybe that's why in kata, you see a pattern of step, punch, step, punch. You never see step, punch, punch, punch. That theory went out the window when Lewis visited a boxing club in Long Beach. Though he was at the top of his game, the boxers handed his head to him. He told me that he couldn't block their punches. Karate had not prepared him to block combinations. So even though each karate class starts with a review of traditional blocks, they didn't help. Traditional blocks were designed against an attacker who would throw just one punch. And in most cases, the punch was already extended and held in the air for the defender to block. Try that with a fast jab, hook, or uppercut. The real world does not hold punches in the air and wait for you to block. As you can see, many of the blocks are unnecessary because the attacker is out of distance and couldn't hit you even if you didn't block. For Joe Lewis, something had to change. Joe was used to taking beatings from his older brothers, so he returned to the boxing gym a bit humbled. <laughs> he learned to move his hands from his hip to his head just in time. In 1984, he started to train me in a 12 by 12 boxing ring. This is the worst beating of my life. Listen as he knocks the wind out of me with a body dig. But I got better. It took me nearly two years to finally kick him in the head. A good punch starts with good footwork. You have to keep your feet under you, not wide apart like a horse stance or a deep front stance. Feet under you so you can step in, step out, and change position. Your punch should snap back. A recovery to guard, snapping back to protect your face. Your guard is up by your face, not down at your hip. Your chin is not up for good form. Your chin is down, hiding behind the shoulders. Most of all, we learn to create punches in bunches. Combinations, which traditional martial arts do not teach at all. So let's compare. Right. Moving forward, you have to decide what you want for your students. You can choose to ignore the clear evidence that traditional skills fall well short of reality. Or you can choose to adapt the Kaizen mindset of constant and never-ending improvement. The choice is yours.